Hi everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you guys have decided to watch another one of my videos. Um, you are watching Living Life with Breast Cancer. Um, today is May the 25th. I am 12 days post-op and um, I just wanted to do this video on some of my must-haves for recovery. I will say these things I don't know where I'd be with in my recovery, I feel like, without these things. And these are my top five. There are more must-haves, I feel like. If you want to see those must-haves, please comment below and say, hey, give us some more must-haves of what I thought. Again, this is my journey. Everybody's journey is different, so somebody else's these top fives might not necessarily all work for somebody else. However, these are my top fives that have been I feel like lifesavers in my recovery. A couple of these aren't like physical items, but things I feel like you need in your recovery. So let's get started. If you wanna watch, just, you know, fun note, just keep watching. Um, I feel like people say that in their videos all the time, but you know what, I just added it, so. <laughs> Anywho, all right, so I wrote them down so I wouldn't forget. So, my first must have not an item, something you need to do. My must have, and I feel like has been one of the most important things, that's why I have it number one, is working out. I started working out in December. Actually, I started working out the beginning of January, and I found out on January 18th I had breast cancer, and I cannot tell you guys how much working out has helped me in my recovery. As in, when you are going through this, you cannot use your test muscles in the beginning. Like, using them hurts, pulls. I am so glad that I worked out because I had, there was a couple times that I actually, in order to get off the couch, I had to get myself in a squat position and then stand up. Um, there have been times where I needed my abs to um, to raise up. Um, I have in my recliner, uh, I kind of just grab on, on my, my right arm is a little, my right side was a little bit more tight and I've had a little bit more um, mo mobility issues in it. So my left arm has been a great, like using my forearm to pull in myself up and not having to use my chest, but been able just to use my arm strength. Um, I am not, I'm not gonna say I am in shape. I am far from where I need to be in shape. However, the workout I have been able to do and have done has so like tremendously helped in my recovery. Maybe working out is not an option for you. Maybe walking is an option. Maybe uh, biking is an option. Something I would just encourage you, if you know ahead of time you're having a double mastectomy, which pretty much everybody does, Whatever time you have, if you are able to do some type of exercise, I am part of Anytime Fitness. I love Anytime Fitness. I do part of their um, group training, and I can't, as much as I was hating doing burpees and squats and dumbbell presses and Arnold presses, I really can see how it has helped me in my recovery. Again, if group training is not an option, going to the gym is not an option, not a problem. YouTube has some great workouts. There's so much you can find online. Maybe you're not able to do full workouts, but find something to get you moving and going before surgery because that will totally, totally help you in your recovery of getting the strength that you need in other parts of your body to help with your chest. So number one, working out beforehand. Also I'll say working out afterwards, you will, um, the more you just sit and stay in one position, things start hurting. Afterwards, start doing arm exercises. I found a great one on Pinterest. Pinterest has a lot of good um, mastectomy workouts that you can do for your arms. Afterwards, a lot of it is rolling shoulders, rolling your arms. Again, it's like that's about as far as I can go, but just rolling, getting your chest going, kind of some wall, going up the wall a little bit, um, going like kind of like this kind of thing. So there's tons and tons of stuff you can do afterwards. Totally encourage you as soon as you can start, do it. I had mine on a Thursday. By Friday, I was just at least doing something like this and doing like the chicken flap, <laughs> chicken wings, just something to get you guys going. So number one, working out. 100%, I'm for it. Number two, hydration. Hi, stay hydrated. I came out of surgery with the worst 
cotton mouth. I was like, like I couldn't eat. I mean, I made a mistake and ate a cracker and I will say that cracker stuck to my mouth. It was awful. I will say hydration, stay hydrated, tons of water. I think my first like Thursday, uh, because I had such bad cotton mouth, I think I drank like eight cups of water. Um, in the first day, I was so thirsty, but definitely stay hydrated after surgery. Before surgery is huge as well. Um, you know, before surgery starts, just drink tons of water. I actually started before surgery drinking water with the, um, the like liquid IV. Got it at Target that like adding one pack increases like it's like drinking three cups of water I did that before surgery the first couple of days started so definitely hydration what goes along with hydration though are um, one thing after surgery like going like this can be kind of impossible like this is my cup just think about like going like this so I will say target bendy straws straws any place that you want to get them but definitely you are going to want to watch, use this. There was times that like trying to grab the cup and doing like this was just not feasible because the cup is heavy uh, depending on what you're doing. So getting a cup where you can hold and then bendy straws. So along with hydration, must have bendy straws, long straws, whatever you can find. I would get these before surgery as well. Didn't think about it before surgery. So um, we got some, again, Target, Target brand. Doesn't matter, you can use straws from anywhere. So straws, hydration, number two. Definitely stay hydrated as much as possible. Um, actually, that was my third item, was straws at the same time. Um, so because I use straws and hydration in one, I'm gonna add something as my third item of a mastectomy must have is being prepared as much as possible. Um, prepared as in your life outside of the mastectomy, things that go on after, like that need to still go on during the, you know, while you're recovering, whether that's meal planning, um, definitely trying to reach in the stove or even grab on the pot. Um, our microwave is above, so even trying to open stuff is hard. So meal prep, if you can, um, Grubhub. DoorDash has been our friend. If that is not an option for you for financial reasons, if you can meal prep ahead of time, meal prep, you know, cold foods, just something that you can have on hand that's super easy to make that either somebody else can make for you or if that's not an option, you are having to do this um, by yourself, definitely can do it. Just meal prep, snacks, get all that before you have surgery. Um, it just makes everything 100% easier um, if you are have children you know line up people to help take them to dance work whatever the case is um, get yourself a community of people who have either been who, through your situation um, find community wherever you can we have community through our church um, that's a great place for community is church if you do not belong to a church where you live I highly highly suggest getting involved in church Find a community of people there. Um, I will say our community, uh, where our church that we go to, we go to Elevation, um, has just been amazing. Our family has been amazing. But again, if those aren't options for you, find something that will help you prepare beforehand. Being prepared has definitely helped through this because I know um, I didn't have to worry about certain things on how people are going to get somewhere or my husband. My husband has been a, a blessing in helping as well. So just find community, be prepared, food preparedness, getting everything prepared for your house beforehand. Um, that just kind of helps alleviate the stress as well. So first working out, second hydration along with straws, third is being prepared. Can't stress that those three enough. So my fourth thing though is something and that is I know in my getting ready video I talked about button down shirts and I will tell you guys button down shirts are a lifesaver. I have picked up some more button down shirts again. I told y'all if you watch me long enough you know I love Target. Um, I kind of picked this one up. It's a short sleeve $18 at Target. It is, I have the thing right here, but I can't quite reach it. Um, but it's, again, hard to find just casual shirts. Um, Brian posted the link on my last video 
really in regards to the green shirt I had. I have the jeans. I have a jean shirt that's like this that's um, short sleeve, but just something that's softer on your skin. Um, finding something rough over your skin is can be a little uncomfortable. So um, pajamas, pajamas, pajamas. I basically have lived in pajamas the last 12 days unless I have gone out somewhere. Target's got some amazing comfortable pajamas that are just like so soft on your skin. I um, actually in my packing video I packed an outfit to wear on the way home and I didn't even wear it. I actually wore a bunch of pajamas leaving the hospital. So pajamas, button downs, 100%. You can find them on Amazon, Target, Walmart. You can pretty much find button downs anywhere but definitely my number four is button down shirts and loose pants. I did now start being able to put my own leggings on, so I have definitely have transitioned to leggings um, now because I can actually do that with my recovery because um, I'm stronger every day. So, but button down shirts, 100%, those are a must have. And my, to wrap up the top five items, um, is when you have a mastectomy, a laying down is just, not an option. Like I laid down in my bed the first couple nights and it was a huge mistake. I couldn't like, because you can't use your chest to pull up and it's hard to pull up sometimes with your abs and everything. Laying down is just, it's, it's just not it. So my top five item I'm gonna round out is a recliner. If you have a recliner, it is going to be your best friend. I sleep, I eat in my recliner. I have like a little table that my family brings to me and I can sit and eat. Um, I have sat on the couch a couple times, um, but then it's kind of like uncomfortable and drains. And um, so yeah, recliner is your best friend. 100%, um, it's easy to get in and out of. Um, so yeah, I pretty much live in my recliner. So those are my top fives. Again, there are more. If you'd like to see what else I have been using in my recovery, just comment below, give me some thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys in regards to that. So again, top five, working out, hydration, straws, which go hand in hand, being prepared 100% beforehand, button down shirts, and a recliner. Top five must-haves. They're amazing. That's what I love. So I'm so glad you guys decided to watch um, another one of my videos. You know, I would love to hear from you guys on what your thoughts are, what maybe you want to see a video on when it comes to um, what I've been going through the last 10 days. Just anything, anything that you might want to know, I would love to hear from you guys. Leave some comments. I would love to, you know, if you like my video, give it thumbs up. Again, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you know when new videos are coming out. Um, and yeah, you know, share the channel if you know somebody who is about to go through it or has gone through it. And um, I would just love to hear input from you guys and what you think and what you would like to see next. So yeah, again, as always, ladies, Phil, mine actually feel weird as I feel my mind feel weird right now. <laughs> okay, so I know. I haven't really touched my chest because I just wasn't prepared. Like I'm still like stitching, I'm still, you know, some stuff going on. So I've been finally feeling my chest and it feels so weird. Like some places are harder, some places are softer, but you know, ladies, you know, fill lumps for bumps anything out of the ordinary and please get your mammogram you never know mammogram can save your life get your mammogram i love you guys so much hope you guys have an amazing day and i'll see you later thank you bye